Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. Today we're going to do a cocktail out of this book, the Cafe Royal Cocktail Book. This is the Coronation Edition, published in 1937, but there was only one edition published in this time period. And we're going to do another one of these early tequila cocktails. And I've said this before, finding tequila cocktails in pre-World War II cocktail books is, is very difficult. There weren't too many of them. This one is called the Rio Grande, and we're going to do it two ways with two different tequilas. A tequila typical of 1937 and a tequila that doesn't show up um, on the shelves or a style of tequila that doesn't show up until 1974. So, first thing, it starts out asking for Italian vermouth. And in this time period, Italian vermouth was shorthand for red sweet vermouth. I'm using a red sweet vermouth, but it happens to be made in France which is different than French vermouth, which is shorthand in this time period for white dry vermouth. Next in asks for gin, and it just says gin. It doesn't say dry gin, just gin. So I'm taking it to mean dry gin. Almost out of gin. I almost ran out. Okay, so... The first tequila we're going to use is this Cuervo. It is a 100% blue agave tequila. Um, pretty typical of what you would have found in 1937. This is a Reposado tequila, and Reposados didn't show up um, until 1974, which is kind of mind-blowing that barrel-aged tequilas are sort of that new in the marketplace. This is an ice and shake cocktail. And I hear you screaming, but David Wondrich says you never shake a cocktail that's only alcohol. But this is 1937 and a completely different set of cocktail rules were in force. And in fact, a lot of the rules just didn't exist. Um, these are things that have come by later. Anyway. There were rules. There were rules. What? There's rules? There's rules, and people love you to follow rules, and they make up rules, and they make you do stuff that you don't want to do because it's a rule. Anyway, this is a tequila <laughs> cocktail. A shaken tequila cocktail. A shaken tequila cocktail. Um, this one is Cuervo, and okay. this one is uh, Casamigos. One of the most hated tequilas on the internet. Really? Yes, I kind of like it. Anyway, let's go. It's okay. I don't know how to interpret that face. I wasn't clearly. I was paying attention to what I was drinking and not to your face. And when you drank this, I'm concerned. There's a, quite a furrow in your, in your brow. Woo! Exactly. That's what wow. I'm... That's you know. That's. <laughs> I can see why there's a furrow in your brow. Yeah, there's some heat behind that. That isn't has. That is bold and big and not yeah. really for me. No, it's, it's, um, it packs a punch. Oh yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the Rio Grande to me is this river that, you know, people cross in movies. Uh, yes, there's lots of songs. And, and I, I, I've never seen it. Is it this muddy brown color? I, Could it be a double play on both the color and the fact that it uses tequila, which is from the other side of the Rio Grande? Um, you've really got to like alcohol to like this, this cocktail. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, you, you do. You really have to like alcohol. I think the mix of, of gin and tequila works. You're concerned that that's the, that, is that the, 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 the flavor you well, think? Well, the, the vermouth brings, uh. I don't even want to have it a second one. The vermouth really brings <laughs> yeah, I could something. probably sip another one of that. That is just too big. Whew. Yeah, no, it's it's bold. And it's funny because it's not like it's the first time we've ever had a, a cocktail that's all alcohol. Right? No, it's the, not, yeah, the but, farther right? back you go, that's that's all they are. They're just right. It, it, but that the combination of those three flavors is just yeah, a lot. 
Okay, not for me. Not for me. I've, 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 you know, if you don't like something, taste it a second time. If you don't like it the second time, maybe not the third. And that's, not, no. Okay. Um, worthwhile experiment. Maybe try it with a different vermouth. Maybe Dole and vermouth is the is the one that is not working and here. And that's the thing, right? Could be a very subtle difference that yeah. makes it change completely and makes it just palatable to you and I. I know I love this gin in other cocktails. I know that I like these tequilas in other cocktails. This might be the odd thing in this one. I don't know. Okay, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> See you again soon.